baby, si te busco Dime, baby, ¿qué piensas hacer? Yo, 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 what's good, our squad? Welcome back to our sneakers. We're going to upload a video every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Today, we're going to get into why bulky shoes are becoming trendy. Why are they going to be the next big thing in 2018? This is not how you're supposed to clean your lens, guys, but I have a cover, so I probably just scratched the crap out of that lens. So the reason I decided to make a video on this is because somebody asked me, and it's something I want to talk about, so let's get into it. First things first, why is it becoming trendy? The only thing that comes to mind when that question pops up is because Kanye is starting that trend. And believe it or not, he is a big factor in the trends. Bigger people obviously influence what goes on, and Kanye is a big factor as far as fashion goes, and he's pretty much the first person to start this coming 2018. I'm pretty sure most of you guys know that in November, the Yeezy 700 Wave Runner, whatever you want to call him, I don't have a pair, so kind of salty about it. But the shoe that I roasted at the beginning of the year did release in November, and that shoe's pretty much what kicked it all off. And then not too long ago, he just released the Yeezy Desert Rat. As you guys can see, those are two shoes already that are gonna influence many shoes in the future. If you guys follow up with Yeezy Mafia's Twitter, you guys can see that a lot of the shoes that they're going to be releasing next year are really bulky dad looking shoes. I personally think this is good as far as fashion goes because we have been stuck on the same kind of fashion for so long. I know like Prime Knit shoes have been like really popular lately. They started like in 2015, 2016 when the NMDs dropped. And those set a guideline for the shoes that we're gonna be dropping in the next few years. But now we're going back to bulky shoes again. Again. This has to do with history repeating itself. History is always going to repeat itself because even now we can see trends that are happening have already happened in the past. Like I just saw an interview with Virgil. He is a creator of Off-White and he said that he thinks bell bottoms are going to go back into fashion and bell bottoms were a thing of like the 80s or 90s and even the 2000s they were still a thing. And now they're probably going to start coming back because if you guys look at the trends that are starting to come back, it is back to the old street wear, the hipster stuff. Like I said, trends that happened back 20, 30 years ago. So this is why I think dad shoes or bulky shoes, whatever you guys want to call them, are going to become a trend again. And like I said, I don't mind them as long as they look pleasing to the eye like the balenciaga trainers that came out the really big ones not the one with the sock but like the dad looking ones obviously those were absolutely hideous they made the sole immensely huge and it just looks terrible to me i didn't like that at all i hope that's not what a lot of them are gonna look like but that is an idea of what next year is going to look like as far as sneakers go but like i said it's a good thing for the community because it is going to give us another types of outfits to wear it's going to be a new trend coming in it's something different so we're not always stuck to the same thing every single year things are going to progressively change and now I want to ask you guys something. What do you guys think about the bulky shoes trend? Do you guys like it? Do you guys dislike it? I know a lot of you guys at first were saying that when the Yeezy Wave Runner came out, you guys thought it was hideous shoe. But then over time, you guys started to hop on the train like I did personally. I remember I made a huge video ranting on the shoe and how ugly it was. But now I'm actually, I don't love this shoe because I did see it in person, the Wave Runner, and it did look kind of like a cheap shoe to me. In the pictures, the shoe looks like it's way better crafted, but when you hold it in person, it just feels and looks kind of cheap, which is a poor job from Adidas in my opinion. I wish I could have the shoe and do a review for you guys. So that's pretty much it for the video, guys. It was just a discussion video. Like I said, one of you guys asked me and I thought it was a really great question, so I figured I should cover that topic because I haven't really seen many people cover it. I don't remember who it was, but big shout out to that person. I wish I remember your name. I should actually take a screenshot and shout you out. By the way, I do want to apologize for not dropping the mask today. There was some issues with the website that I use. And because of that, I do have to drop the zebra mask on New Year's Eve, as well as the other four cream white masks. They're all going to drop the same day. So there will be five masks available that day. Anyways, today's fan of the day does go to Hype Dragon. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to give a video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to reach a 21K by the end of this year. If we haven't already, I'm pretty sure we should have hit that overnight. If we didn't, that's pretty embarrassing for me to say that right now. Oh, we at 21K. We good. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you keep grinding. It's your boss. Yeah, yeah.